I think I need to start going. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. I'll see you tomorrow. Whoa! Slow down, big guy. I just wanted to hug you. No. If care is not taken, we'll set this house on fire. All right. I'm sorry. I get carried away at times, you know? I do too sometimes. That's why we need to be careful. Yeah, yeah. yeah I agree. Nope. God will help us. Us? Yeah. Yes, yes, God will help us. <laughs> so please make sure you eat so you won't trigger the old style attack again. Yes, yes, I'm right. All right, baby. All right, then. Take care. You take care. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Several letters. Emails, SMS, WhatsApp messages have been sent to you, but you refuse to acknowledge or respond to any of them. Since you have refused to respond, I have been called upon to take up your case. I still don't know who you are. I am the negotiator from the community. My God. Here is the community's demand from you. You are to read and append your signature. Failure to do so, you will forfeit all you've enjoyed from the community and you will lose all your companies. Ah, 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 but no, 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 no. I, I acquired all these companies before I joined the community. Yet you use the resources you got from the community to maintain your companies, isn't it? You have seven days. Seven days to sign the contract. Oh, you lose all. Oh. Ah. wrong with you? You have not been yourself since you returned from office today. See, I'm okay. I'm just tired. <laughs> tired? This is not how you look when you are tired. Are you sure there is nothing? Nothing. Oh my God. You know how you make me feel when you are insistent like this. All right. I have a gist for you. Gist? What is it? I am now a negotiator. <laughs> Jacob. Hey. No. Negotiator. You're not a negotiator. You're my wife. Hey. What is wrong with him? I only negotiated with the director of Ever Limited. 
and it all went well. <laughs> that is all. <sighs> ah. Jacobs! Jacobs! Guy, yeah. hmm? you just think I don't understand why why the thing because I don't understand you. Why will you be in a place for this long in one in one more ministry collecting nothing or we're just there you're just, you're just wasting away. I don't understand. And then you say, hmm, hmm, hmm. Ah, no, I don't understand what you're saying. I, okay. I really understand. Yeah, of course you do. In fact, I forgot to tell you, I'm beginning to get hostile responses from people helping me. Eh? See, the people help you with welfare, whatever. I don't, I don't understand. Even if I were them, you would get more hostile responses. Because now, you've been there for how many years now? Three years? Going to four years? Ah, see, bro, you're a master degree there, for God's sake. You haven't planned your PhD. And you're just, you are being as if you are not educated or, or you, are, you have lost hope. Mm -hmm. Why? Are you wasting away there? No, I am not wasting away. Okay. I told you, God asked me to serve under this ministry. Yeah? Look at me. And he said he will... Show me. He will tell me when to go. <laughs> Look at me. Right. Huh? Uh -huh. right. See? You see me? I'm God. God is sending me to you now. Because oh, when you're alone, alone, he's telling me that shit base. Move this camp. How long will you stay in this? Uh, how long will you stay on this mountain long enough? Move, bro. I'm talking to you. God is speaking now through me. You. Voice of God. I would rather be deaf. My brother, you have been deaf. All this way, you have been deaf and dumb. God, God has been ah. speaking to you, showing you signs, but you are refused to listen. So you are, you are, you are, you are, you have been deaf before. So deaf is not a, it's not a new thing between you and God and me. We know that you are deaf. I am not. God is directing me. Hmm. You, you, you can't see it yet. Huh? No one's paying me. What? Ah, I don't get. Fresh that today bread. Ha! Ah. From a rich mm. wedding background, mm -hmm. well taken care of and well treated, you take your, your your broken poverty life to stay alive. Ah. See, ah, if, if you cannot take care of this girl, see, I've seen guys looking at her all over the place. See, she has in the church and on the street, there's one girl called Toby. Another one, you go, all of them, Steve. They, they, they are listening there. They will call this guy. They are all looking for. Uh. They, they, if this guy's a job, they are making money, you are not making anything. No, 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 no. You are lying. It's only Steven that I have noticed. <laughs> All that. Even with Steven, he cannot. See, the Bible says the gift and the calling of God are without repentance. Mm. You see, this girl, Matilda, she's a gift of God to me. Mm. Yes. She's go going nowhere. Let, let me tell you, the gift of God is to the whole world. Uh, Not for you alone. This guy is a part of the gift that God has sent her as gift to everybody. So he's the, he's the first man, last man standing. The so, one that is smart. As you, as you are, you are not ready. So, and this is a part of the world. And they are all single. I put you, you are old, finish. You I am not old. Okay, good. I'm just big boned. Yeah, big boned. You page deal that. <laughs> big stormy. Wait, 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 wait. You see, see what I'm talking about. God is faithful. Yeah. Look at that job. My pastor just asked me to see him. It's the time of the month now. To see him. So I can yes. give you, so I can give you stupid. You can't, you can't, the one is too small that they can't transfer it. Go and get the money. So I can take to take Zobo and Sharama. That is the only thing the money can do. Eh? It can't even last you two days. The I master degree of that. Look at you. The voice of God, right? Mm -hmm. The voice of God. Asking me to bring my salary to just go and eat Shawarma and Zobo. Ah, no, can that's not call, fair. Can you be calling that money salary? Is that salary? What is Zobo it? Zobo money, you're calling salary. You know, let, let me go and buy limousine uh, with the salary. I now. work with a ministry. A ministry. ministry under God. So whatever they give me is still my salary. I'm not saying you don't work under that ministry, but if you're not lazy, you find nothing to do with the ministry. What time is the best? Let me go and collect this. But, but, but I'm, I'm not bringing it to you to come and spend. <laughs> How is it going on with your proposal to start your PhD program? Uh, yes, uh, I've actually started, but not fully. Uh, I just have some few things to do and settle before I start fully. I see. Yes, sir. The Lord will help you. Amen. The Lord will help you. Um, well, I, I do not want to waste your time, but I'm afraid I have a very bad news for you. Oh, okay. What is it, sir? 
Mm. What about your monthly remuneration? Um, we won't be able to pay you for this month. Um, I don't want to start stating the obvious. Um, you already know what I'm about to say. It's okay, sir. God will sustain me. <laughs> sir. Um, well, I do not intend that you should go empty handed. I have something uh, little for you. At least this should do for some days just to manage. Uh, yes, sir. I'll say you should not bother. Don't worry, sir. I understand. I sincerely understand. God uh, way. God way. Uh, go with. Go with. <laughs> I insist. I actually insist. You have been a good person. Huh? Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. I really appreciate it. God bless yes, you. Sir. Amen. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. Yes, Thank sir. you so much for your understanding. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Well, how is Matilda? Ah, Matilda is fine, sir. She's doing well. I should say we are doing fine. <laughs> okay. Yes, sir. I I don't know. I have this feeling. I don't really know how to place it. Mm. Um, well, let me just say. The Bible says marriage must be held in honor amongst all and the bed must not be defiled. But fornicators and adulterers, God will judge. We have come a long way. And so you need to really, really be patient. It's my prayer that the Lord will help both of you. Amen. Thank you so much, sir. <laughs> I'll relay the message to her, too. All right. Yes, sir. You are blessed. <laughs> so we'll, we'll see you, huh? Yes, sir. All right. Hey, Dad. I'm not sure what to do with Ace proposal. They seem to be the best company with proposal, but something seems off. Ah, Daddy, please check. Daddy, you're not even paying attention to what I've been saying. Dad. What is it? No, Dad, something is wrong. Are you all right, Daddy? Matilda. This can you come back later. That was wrong. Matilda, I'll call you up later. Come on. All right. Daddy, when the enemies come, like a flood of waters, the Spirit of the Lord will raise a standard against them. Daddy, allow the Spirit of the Lord to raise a standard against whatever or whoever is troubling you. I'll come back later. Why did you have to wait till the issues with the community escalated this much? It was the same you that told me eight weeks ago that you got the first message from the community. How bad? Okay, see, I was just confused. Totally confused. Imagine what they say they want from me now. My wife or daughter. 
Ah, how can I do that? How can they be that wicked or harmless? It was the same you that sang their praise when they helped you sort your life that was already collapsing. You became the honorable minister. You were not even a member of the party that won the election. Yet, you were given the slot. You were given the slot that so many would have killed for. Chief, come on, fix the fact and pay the price. Uh -uh. Price? Fact? What are you talking about? Is killing my wife or, or, or daughter a, a price or fact to pay? Ah, that one is too much for me. What kind of fact or, or, or price is that? They should just come and kill me. Ah. Really? Okay. Okay, please help me. See, I can't lose my life and my family now. Ah. Okay. Let's get this straight. The community cannot overlook this. They have never overlooked this on anybody. Oh, then I'm finished. Mm, calm down, calm oh. down. It doesn't come to that. Um, oh. There's this uh, place I do go for spiritual counsel. Uh, I will talk to him and see if I can bring you and then when. Ah, let's go to the now, now, now. You see, I have little time calm left now. Down. I said I will call him first, okay? You just calm down. Joe, please. It's okay. I'll give him a call. I've been listening to your situation and the threat in it. Your case has a solution. Baba. Baba. Ibajepo ni suru ki o to towo bo solo ma je mu pelu awon egbe yi akoko ore sin yi gege bi eleduwa si ti ti to re patience my friend what they want is blood and we will give them blood blood from your Family. Ah, Baba. That's why we are here. They, they are asking for blood. You, you are saying we should give them blood. Baba? Do you have a son-in-law? My only daughter is yet to get married. The only child I have. Hmm. Ah. Hmm. Patience, my friend. Hmm. Your daughter, at least, must be in a relationship. Huh. And I know they could have had a sexual intercourse. And through this, we we'll use it to connect the boy to your family. And that will make him valid for the ritual. Mm. Hmm. This is the only way death can pass over your household. Huh. And the boy will take your dead away. Baba? Baba, is there no other way we can avoid blood, death, blood, death? Please, I shall know you. <laughs> it is that the boy or someone from your family? Oh. Hey, Angel. Daddy. Hmm. Okay, so I am sorry about my reaction earlier on in the day of yesterday. You really got me worried. It's quite unlike you not to be cheerful, especially when I'm around. I know. I apologize, my angel. It's fine, Dad. So can we discuss now? What? The ACE proposal? No, Dad. Can we talk about why you were worried? Oh, that? Don't worry. Sorted. Are you sure, Dad? Oi! Uh-uh! We shall enjoy your delay. 
Ha! You can be so persistent. Hi. Okay. Oh. I'm going to miss you when you get married, okay? okay? Huh? That don't start. Hey. Is it not going to happen one day? Of course, it's going to happen. Even though it's not easy to discuss, just to imagine that somebody, somewhere, will come and take my sweet angel away. <laughs> <laughs> come. I've not really heard you talk to me about any man in your life in the recent past. Is it that there is nobody or... You have started keeping secrets from Dad. Dad, please. Oh, oh, come on. Talk to me. Okay. I am in a relationship. Yes! I said it! <laughs> so, how come? You have not told me about this since. But Dad, you are always not around. Yes. Indeed, not always around, that's true. So you know, tell daddy, who is this boy that has been, has been, that has been, you know, of course you know what I mean. No, I don't. You know what those boys do when they get into me. Daddy. Ah, yes, come off it. If I cannot be straight with my own daughter, my baby girl, tell me who am I going to be straight with? But dad. Oh, sorry. You consider it something we can't discuss? I really thought we have gone past that level. If it's, if it's what you want, okay, I'm okay. Okay, okay, what, what do you want to know? What I want to know? Okay, don't bother. Don't tell me. At least you've told me already that you have a boyfriend. And that's okay. It doesn't really matter to me again whether you're a virgin or not. Okay. I... I have a man I love so much. Mm. And he loves me too. And if you must know, I am no longer a virgin. I actually didn't know you were able to make it. <laughs> Why not? I thought I was going to. Ah, uh, you look tired. Yes, I am. Today was really stressful. Yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, that reminds me. How was your meeting with the ministry director yesterday? Ah, <laughs> it went well. It was a huge success, mm -hmm. I tell you. God glorified himself. Ah, wow, great yeah. God. Yeah. So how far with the letters you've been sending for your family? <sighs> letters? I've not had anything now, till now. No response. Even for my father's company. No, I haven't heard anything. But I hope you have not influenced it. No, not at all. Remember what God said. He said he would do it. Mm -hmm. So let's be patient. I remember. I've not done anything of such. Okay, but I'm sorry. I know I should have been giving you some things now. <laughs> eh? Since that's why I feel somehow meeting you and us. Hey. It's fine, I understand. I know you're a good man. Thank you. And um, when the time is right, you will do much more. Thank you. I, do. <laughs> I promise. Please have a request. Request? Yeah. Okay, what is it? I want to follow you to the next outreach. This same outreach? Yeah. It's a village outreach, oh, inside a very remote village. I know. Ha! There are two teams there. What's Tim Tim? You see? <laughs> you want to follow me to a village and you don't know Tim Tim? I don't need to. Hey! Okay, Tim Tim, we call them Sunfly in English. And once they see you like this, they will feast on you. I don't want to share you with anything. Not even Tim Tim. I beg, I beg, I beg. I want to go. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Okay, no, no problem. We'll just get repellent. Hmm? Thank you, baby. Thanks, dear. So, um, should I drop you at home? Please, I'll be. I'll be. Hmm? Oh, shall I drive? No. <laughs> I'll drive myself. Uh, okay. Please. Please.
please, can you help me extend the time? Chief Jacobs, you are toying with what you do not want. <sighs> but none of these terms are favorable to me. You have the last chance to make it favor you. Please, I beg of you. I need more time. In our next meeting, I hope it works in your favor. Dad? Yes, daughter? You sent for me. Yes, I did. About the Intel's file, how far have you gone? I should be done before the end of today. Um, it remains just a little. Very good. Yes. Very, very good. Thank you. We can't afford to delay on any of the pending contracts. I hope you know. Sure, Dad. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Until then. Yes, sir. This man you are dating, when are you bringing him in to meet us? Daddy. Matilda! Stand. Come on! Are you sure? Abba, I'm very sure! See, this Saturday you must bring him in to meet Dad and Mom. we will be waiting for him. Daddy, thank yeah. you! <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, sir. Thank you. Hi, baby. Hey, sweetheart. How are you? Thank you. Yeah. How are you? Yeah, fine. Guess what? Okay, what? Guess now. Oh, you want the contract? Nope. Okay, uh, oh, your visa. <laughs> Not yet. So please, what is it? <laughs> Dad and mom want to meet you. What? Jesus. When? <laughs> Tomorrow. Tomorrow? Ha! Ha! Hello, Dee. What is it? I, I, I don't know how I will face them. We've been praying for this color day. I know. And here is our answered prayer. So why are you scared? Uh, what if they don't accept me? Please stop it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just became fearful all of a sudden. You don't have to be. Eh? My dad and mom are nice people. They will accept you. Moreover, they were the one who asked to meet you. So why are you scared? I hope so. Ah. I hope so. Eh? Don't worry. You'll be fine. Ah. <laughs> ah. ah! Who got that with me? So you call me out the way! To go <laughs> what, okay, what is funny now? This guy is on sale. Yeah. I love him, break dance. <laughs> so, you mean with all this mozu, build up, be a get on you are afraid of somebody. Just to face a man and a woman. It's too much for you. And you call me out the way from, from office. <laughs> so you, you think it's about Mozu? You think it's about Mozu? It is not. See, a lot of questions are running through my mind now. They will ask me with questions. They will bombard me with questions. Hmm. Who, who are you? What are you? This and that. What is this? What is that? Hmm. Ha! So, 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 so. How will I answer? I don't know why you're afraid. Are, are you not a child of God? Yes, I am. Are you not educated? Yes, I am. In fact, you have a master's degree. And you are, you are a PhD student. Yeah. So, why, why are you afraid, for God's sake? Everything you need is there. And you, you of course, are good looking. A man would, ah, you are Yeah, just calm down. You are good to go. All right. You are good to go, man. Yeah, thanks, man. <laughs> but the only issue now, is this your age? You, you are ancient of this, bro. You are old. You see, that guy is young and you are... The difference is too much. I don't... That will be the major issue now. Is the issue of this or age? The age difference oh. is very long. It's very, very wide. You are like Methuselah and then uh, the little... This thing. Ah. So you know what you just did now? You just complicated the whole issue. You have been encouraging me, oh. That is why I say you talk too much. I <laughs> They might because of that no, not no, no, even no, no, answer wait, me. Wait. 
If we know that season, we don't know that you are this old. Now only we know say you are Medusa. But only we don't know. You see, I see if you dress well, package coffees, you're not gonna go, I'll go follow you. Now how the I'll go you? follow you. You go follow me. Uh -uh. Ah no, 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 no. That one not be good idea. Why? But then I'll ask Matilda. Last. Ah, see, this is see, 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 see. My my money. Ah, my money. I was good and see to me. This one. What can I offer you? If you don't mind, how do you handle it? Ah, I'm okay. Please, don't mind him. We are fine. Why are you shivering? I'm not shivering. Am I shivering? Yes, you need to calm down. You're shivering like you just got to the lion's den. Yes, you are shivering. See, it's just uh, inside this side, you want that pandu. I don't want pandu. Right. Okay, let me get you drinks. Yes. Maybe you should not bother. Please bother. Please bother. Ah. <laughs> what are you here for? Do you want my mom to scold me for not entertaining my guests? No, 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 no not like that. I just. See, see, you have to play it. Go to the lady, why are you not playing? Let's enjoy it. I'll get you drinks <laughs> after me. Yeah, all right. Behave, oh. behave, oh. behave. Uh -huh. You're not eating, you're not drinking. So, which one of you is Koladi? <laughs> you are quality? Yes, sir. <laughs> Daddy, what are you? <laughs> you must be joking. Uh -huh. You are old enough to be her father. Jacobs! Do we, don't take off me! Can't you see that he has brought somebody old enough to be her father to, to, to marry? What's happening here? What's happening where? Come. How can you bring your uncle home for you to marry? My uncle? Yes! Ow. Ah! You can marry this one! But that is... That is what? It is... Is what? Can't you see this one is old? Too old? You, no, you can't marry this one? No. Dad, you can't dictate to me who or who not to marry. Matilda! Mom! Can't you see the way he is... <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, now, the two of you, I want you out of my house right now. Daddy. Go, come on. You come back here. Come back here. Daddy. And you have the guts to bandy words with me? Okay. Matinda, really? Have you lost your mind? You have never raised your voice at your father before. Why should it start now? I am disappointed in you. And what kind of a Christian are you? Hey, hey, I shouldn't have I shouldn't. Hey, 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 guy, what is it? See, see, guy, 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 calm down now. Hey, calm down. I made a very big mistake coming to this place. You mean your lost place? In, in law. This ones, see, this is the end of the road for me. This ones cannot accept guy, me. Which road? Sometimes you, you surprise. I think you're not seeing more challenging things than this. Eh? So one child at you and then you're all over the place. Why? You did not see that man's eyes. Huh. You didn't. Which eye? Which eyes? You will not see go eye, they fear human being eye. Can they calm down? Ha! Because they shall you being you 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 are all over the place. Ha! Okay, okay, please. At least can we just leave this place? Maybe we should just trek home so I can clear my head. Eh? We should wait, we should wait. We should trek home. Because my pursuit was now. We could take go, go house. Why? Eh, just to clear our heads. <laughs> our, our heads. Our heads. Now, now one head will carry come, come, come this head, Abby. See your hair as big. 
I get my own head like this. Moderate. Carry your own head. The thread they go to wherever you want. But me, I'm going to enter a bus there with my head. I I'm with that hopeless. I want for you. Stay there. Pious. Pious, you are need. Pious. Ah. See the old man my daughter brought in <laughs> as a husband material. Ah, you need to see this man. Chief, do I need to remind you what is at stake? Don't forget, you are looking for a sacrificial lamp right now and not a son in law. You're actually right. Yes. The moment I saw that man, I became so uneasy, you know? Okay. I'll find a way to bring him back. Okay, better. All right, I'll be waiting forward to hear from you. I didn't know what came over me. Kolade is a good man, Dad. Please, I'm sorry. So you think by disrespecting me, I can give you my consent? Dad, no. I can never disrespect my father. Please forgive me, Daddy. Please, that wasn't my intention. It's okay. You can bring him to see me tomorrow. Really? Thank you, Daddy. Thank you. Thank you very much. Come. Thank you, Daddy. With the qualification you said he has, you think he can handle the vacancy at the personnel? Really? Yes, Daddy. He can. Then tell HR to give him an appointment immediately. Oh, Jesus, Daddy, thank you. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> this is serious. Is Call day. <laughs> ah, you mean after the man sent you out of his house, he called you back and offered you a job? Yes, sir. Ah, did Matilda influence this? Well, I asked her the same question. She said no. That had that just asked her if I can handle the vacancy in the company. Uh -huh. And she said yes. Wow. Hey. <laughs> ah, God is good. All the time. God is good. <laughs> See, Koladi, I knew it. I knew that God was going to raise you up. Yes, sir. Hey, I just feel like singing. See what the Lord has done. <laughs> this is awesome. God, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, we give you all the praise. Hallelujah. See, if you get there, make sure you represent us well. Mm. Eh? Yeah. Represent us well and represent yeah. Jesus Christ very well. It will be well with you. Amen. God, we help you in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Hey. Thank you, Jesus. We give you praise, God. Hey, call that day. Hey. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, sir. Wow. This is amazing. Amazing. Good and gracious God. Hey. You have dared the community. And the consequences will be grievous. I, Jacob Maxwell, seek an extension of settlement. Do you know the rules binding the extension of settlement? Yes, I do. Do you also know that the extension of settlement is done only once in contract signing? Yes, I do. Jacob's Maxwell. You have been granted an extension of settlement for 14 days. Hmm. Hello there. Ah, well, <laughs> fine. But I'm still catching up. I know, right? You are an intelligent man. You will figure it out. <laughs> Thanks, dear. It's still a wonder to me, though, how everything starts to play out. It's a big surprise. My dad has never changed his mind about something so quickly. It's God. It can only be God. He is the only one that can do such a thing. I agree. I just called to say hi, though. We are boarding the flight already. Oh, all right there. All right there. Oh, please, before you go, do you have any idea why Dad said I should come to the house tomorrow? I don't. He just called me to make sure I'm around too. I wonder why. Okay. See you tomorrow then. Bye, love. Safe trips. Yeah, bye. So, Koladi. Yes, sir. How's your new office? Uh, well, uh, I'm catching up. Good. Very good. I saw the adjustment you made on the document sent to you. That was brilliant. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. Uh, I'll be hearing some impressive news about you since you resume. Keep it up. Thank you so much, ma. And I'm sure my daughter is happy to hear that. <laughs> yes, mommy. <laughs> <clears throat> so, here comes the big news. Even though I haven't discussed it with my wife, but I guess you would understand. Quality. Yes, sir. Right from Monday, you're resuming office as the chief executive officer of the entire company. What? Yes. 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> this is serious. <laughs> I hope there are no issues. No, no, no. Look are you sure? Uh -huh. no, no, no. I'm okay. Okay. <laughs> you see, um, I've instructed HR on everything and all is set. Yes. Dad, <laughs> yes, I'm, not, I'm not sure Kolade is ready for this responsibility. Kolade, no offense, please. Oh, oh, none taken. Dad, he's not ready. He's not ready, please, Daddy. Oh, he will do just fine. Remember, I still remain the chairman. Just that I've decided to spend more time with my wife and <laughs> take care of my health too. I could be working from home, okay? <laughs> no problem at all. It's okay. Hmm. <laughs> Even though I'm yet to come to terms with this news, but take this opportunity as a rare one and do well with it. It is the time to be diligent and more hardworking. We build this company from this crash. Please, Kolade, don't disappoint any one of us. Okay? Yes, ma. Uh, sir and ma, I really want to thank you for this real privilege. I do not take it lightly. And I'm promising you that by God's grace, I will not disappoint you. I, I'm so happy. I don't even know what to say right now. <laughs> don't worry, Thank, you so much, Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Congratulations, young man. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Congratulations. Thank you, well. Thank you. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, I, I didn't know. <laughs> such a great news. <laughs> don't tell me you're thinking of taking the offer. Thinking? The offer I've taken already. No, you can't. Why not? I'm not comfortable with it. You can't take the offer, Kolade. <laughs> comfortable? Okay, what exactly are you not comfortable with? The fact that I was promoted or... Oh, I get it. Because your dad made me the CEO. <laughs> did, did, did you just say that to me, Kolade? I'm sorry, that came out wrong. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> but what exactly are you not comfortable with? That's the point. I don't even know. It, I'm just scared, Kolade. I'm scared. Something is wrong. I can't tell. Kolade, you can't take this offer. But I do not feel anything. I, I feel so happy. In fact, I'm excited. I'm so happy. The only thing that scares me is the responsibility. Kolade, you can't take this offer. See, babe, we'll be fine, okay? I'll be fine. Cheer up now. Kolade, I'm worried. <laughs> I will be fine. Don't worry. Don't worry, okay? Hmm? I'll see you. Hmm? <laughs> Holy Spirit, help me. Kolade! <sighs> Dad. Yes, daughter. What's going on? What's going on where? Why the sudden fever, likeness, and all of a sudden handing over the company to him just like that? What do you mean just like that? Is he not going to be your husband? Dad. Don't you love him? Daddy. Come on. Would you rather I handed over the company to you? It's fine. Come, come. You better speak out now or we forget about it. Dad, it's fine. Never mind. Ah. <laughs> Mo boni re mo la mo gbare o Mo boni re mo la mo gbare Mo bo pale mo la mo yan pin 
mo bo ni re mu la mo gbare you have a role to play if this must work find the way of getting his blood and drop it in this oil call his name three times and put it in a white handkerchief use it to rub your own share in your office where the boy will sit once you sit on it it is done your debt is paid take balawami mama jo jabo to ba jabo oluwu sir sir that, that that is what i'm talking about sir I don't know exactly what she wants. Is it that she is not happy with my promotion or what? I don't like the way you're talking, Kolade. How? I don't have any problem with you. <laughs> I only have a problem with the offer. Uh, sir, can you hear that? She does not have a problem with me, but with the promotion. That means she has something against me. She has something against my promotion. <laughs> what is it? Why are women like this? <laughs> women. Sir, please. Um, can I just excuse you? I need to leave here. Ah. I can't take it here. Matilda. Ah. Matilda. You see? That's what I'm talking about. Kola Day. Sir? Kola Day. I did not expect that from you at all. You just compared your wife to be with all other women. Every woman is uniquely created and crafted by God for a divine purpose. How can you be comparing your wife to be with other women? Ah, no, 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 no. That was not good at all. And you need to apologize to her. Yes. No, 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 Colette, that wasn't good enough. Have you even considered what affairs her? Sir, Have you? Sir, that is exactly what I'm saying. If you ask her now, she will tell you she does not know. I've been asking. She said, I don't know. I just have a bad feeling about this. I'm not feeling too well about this. So she does not really know what is wrong. <sighs> well, let me ask you. Have you prayed about it? Sir, you know, I have been praying about this before. And when the offer came, I was so excited. And I started thanking God for the, for the promotion. But I don't know why Matilda is feeling so much about it. I don't know. But you see, I will advise you that you need to get Matilda involved in this. This is the time to pray together about this matter. Then both of you need to fast and pray together about this issue. But Sir. first, like I said, you have to apologize to her. You have to. I mean, that was too, that was too, that wasn't good at all. I believe you should do better after now. All right, sir. Nah, I'm sorry, sir. I, I will. It's okay. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, sir. All right, no problem. Yes, so we'll see. Yes, sir.
Yeah, call it. Yeah, I'm good. A quick one. You call the number I sent to you now and get an appointment for today to do your medical examination. It's just part of the process, okay? Yeah, yeah. Today. See you later. so full of life. But what could have happened? No one knows. You see, actually, I'm too concerned about Matilda now. How would she cope with this loss? Loss? Is it dead? Ah! You don't even understand what we've been trying to say. Look, I sent a message to the office and the, the, the kind of feedback I'm getting is not encouraging at all. My daughter, I need to go and see her. I need to bring her back home. Re now. Relax, relax. Come on. Relax? Did you just say I should relax? Do you know how much your daughter loves Kolade? Do you know the state my daughter will be right now? Don't worry yourself. Come on. I sent Kingsley, the driver, to go fetch her. They should be here any moment. You see, there she comes. Oh. Oh, oh, Dad. Who are you? Oh. Mommy. My daughter. Oh. I was so oh. scared. So sorry. Thank you, Daddy. Mm -hmm. Oh. Bele. So sorry about your loss. Loss? Who died? Ah. Who died now? Daddy! Ah! Daddy! Ah. I am sorry for everything I did. Call her day. 
if you refuse to forgive me. I perfectly understand. I did everything I did because I could not bear to sacrifice my wife and daughter. I can't even forgive myself for this act of wickedness. They told me the charm will work on him if he had had sex with you. <laughs> Sex with you, Matilda, will give us a link to him. And since you told me you are no longer a virgin, I concluded that you must have had sex with him. No, Dad. Kuladi and I are Christians. We've never had anything together, Daddy. I lost my virginity before I became a Christian. And now the blood of Jesus has cleansed me. Away from my sister, G. Sir, I don't even know how to explain this. I went to her dad's place. Mm -hmm. She said I should come for introduction, and uh, the dad embarrassed me. I left the place. I decided to trek so that I could just clear my head. Before I got to Matilda was already in my room. I just opened the door to meet her, crying. She was crying seriously. And I tried to pacify her, to calm her down so, so that she would stop crying. The atmosphere of the room just changed. Everything got so emotional. I, I was almost kissing her, sir. When the beep of your message brought me back to consciousness, Kola <sighs> Day. But I warned you. Didn't I? Yes, you did. I warned you because I knew that something like this may actually happen. The Bible did not say pray and pray. The Bible says watch and pray. See, this is flesh and blood. It can disappoint you at any time. You don't overrate yourself. And by the way, it is very, very wrong of you to have given her your keys. No, 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 you don't do that. Sir, I thought because we are close, uh, we are engaged. No, 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 you are not yet married. Giving her the keys to your house means that she has access anytime. She can go in when you are not there. And the time you are coming, maybe she even addresses her off. I don't know why the young people of today, the way you take things, you just take things for granted. What runs through your system is not petrol or kerosene. It is blood. And then going forward, Go and take those keys from her. I'm not advising you, it's an instruction. Go and collect those keys. Otherwise, this will repeat itself. I can assure you of that. Always be on guard. The Bible says the devil walks around like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. One of the ways to resist him is to put some things in check. Not only by praying. All right? Take those keys. It's, it's actually my prayer for you that uh, the Lord will keep you Amen. and sustain you. Amen. Well, we have a reason to thank God that it never happened. Daddy, I'm so disappointed in you. Why? I dug my own pit and, and now it's obvious I'm falling into it. I knew. I knew the re repercussions of of my actions. Jacob. I know I, Jesus. I know I Jesus, have limited please. time to live. Jacob. It's okay. Jacob, what have you done? It's okay. Matilda. Kolade, please let's take him to the hospital. You will do no such thing. Ah. It's 
it's, it's just a waste of time and resources. Sir, can I at least pray for you? Eh? Yes. Oh. Ah, in spite of everything I have done to you. Ah, oh, God. You could have been dead by now. But at least praying for me will, will make me to die peacefully knowing that you have forgiven me. The ball is now in your court. You have a debt to pay. <laughs> 